Well, in today's health alert, in the fight against cancer, early intervention is key, and that means regular cancer screenings are vital. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America, claiming 52,000 lives every year. Now, current guidelines suggest routine cancer col uh, colon cancer screenings start at the age of 45. They can be home stool tests or colonoscopy. If you're in the clear, generally it's every 10 years from there, but some screenings will require a closer look. And cost has always been a barrier. But in the new year, millions of Americans will now have free access to this vital cancer care and it's thanks in part to a fight led by University of Michigan researchers. And now they're pushing to expand that access to millions more. I've had polyps from time to time, so every three to five years they asked me to come back. That's Nathaniel Pernick, who's also a doctor. Under the Affordable Care Act, certain cancer screenings are supposed to be free. So Dr. Pernick was surprised to receive this bill in the mail for $879 from a colonoscopy back in May. He wrote to the hospital, his insurance company, and the state, and ultimately the charges were removed. But it took many, many letters and three to four months for that to happen. To help others, Dr. Pernick took to social media to explain that while screenings are free, follow-up colonoscopies billed as diagnostic may not be. That is, until now. Almost all insured Michiganders will be able to get their follow-up colonoscopy at no cost to them. Dr. A. Mark Fendrick of the University of Michigan Center for Value-Based Insurance Design was a leader in the fight to extend coverage to include follow-up diagnostic colonoscopies. He says to encourage screenings, but to stop there makes little medical or financial sense. One of the dumbest things ever, like it's, you know, leading people down a path and then saying, oh, you can't go the rest of the way. Dr. Fendrick's research shows even small costs can deter the use of all kinds of cancer screenings. He hopes the federal rule many private insurers are enacting this year requiring no-cost colon cancer screenings and covering follow-up colonoscopies will save lives. Americans are very price sensitive to health care services. In some situations for generic drugs, one or two dollars will be enough in certain populations to deter their use. But the rule doesn't cover diagnostic costs for breast, lung, and cervical cancer. Now Dr. Fendrick and his colleagues are pushing for similar coverage for millions of other Americans. People who are going to make decisions that they have to pay rent or uh, pay for gas or have to feed their family with more nutritious food than go on to get these follow-up tests. It was a 10-year fight, but Dr. Fendrick says they now have a playbook. As for Dr. Pernick, he says he's lucky he can afford to pay the bill he received, but pushed back anyway and shared his strategy to help others who can't afford to pay. We have a responsibility to try to make the world a better place, and this is one way to do it, to use my knowledge to help other people. Now, both doctors Fendrick and Pernick agree there are very few interventions that save lives and save money. But cancer screenings and early intervention do just that. Identifying cancer at an early stage means they're more treatable. And treating them earlier also means that they are cheaper than treating them at more advanced stages. And that can lower health care costs for all of us.